Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be an introduction to web workers and basically using them in Vue 3. And I'll be doing a couple of ways how we can do it. Uh, first will be the vanilla way where you're directly using the web worker or worker or JS. And the other one will be using some composables which are provided by Vue Use library itself. I'm assuming you're somewhat familiar with web workers, so I'll not be going too much in details. As you can see already in the UI, we ha have an input as well as some value. So what I'll do is like, I'll be taking this input and when you click and the user clicks on click me, it's going to basically compute a Fibonacci value at this term and we will be basically rendering it. Let me show you the code, which was there for this code uh, for this example. So we have app.view, we have worker in it and the worker, as you can see, we have an input tag and the Fibonacci value is there. So as you can see here, Fibonacci value is going to be there something. And when we click on it, if the term value is there, we are going to do post message. So we need to do a couple of things. One is we need to listen on the worker. Second is like whenever the user clicks, uh, basically on this click me button, a post message needs to be done to the worker and the worker is going to process the input. And when the input, uh, when the response, when the worker calculates the response, it's going to send it. And in the on message, we're going to listen on it. This will become clear when we write the code, but I've already went and written a worker.ts file. Here I've just written a Fibonacci function, which we'll be using now. So I'll write a couple of things, which is quite common in web workers. I'll basically take a term from the event.data, which we'll be getting when, when we basically post the message from here. I'll be doing that later. Let me first uh, get the value from the event.data and use this value in the Fibonacci sequence function, sorry. And we just send it out. And I need to again post this message back to the app.view or whatever is listening to it. So I need to itself dot post message again i'm not i'm assuming you're from somewhat familiar with web workers or if not you can check out mdn it's quite good anyway so let us come to worker.view here we need to again listen for it so before that we need to basically import this web, web, web worker there are two ways of doing it in white if you're using white as uh, if you're basically using white in one way so one is the basically you can import it let me show you two of the ways Here, when you're importing it, you need to give question worker and you need to basically instantiate it. Now you can use it. Whenever I get the message, I'll be basically assigning the value to the Fibonacci value. Now we need to post the message also. So let me write it. I'll be passing a term value. Now let us see whether it works or not. I'll be having first the zero term. Nothing is there. First term, 10 is there. Uh, let me just make it first term. Click me, zero. Second term is one, third term is again one, fourth term is should be two, one plus one is two. Now let me show it to you another way, uh, which is more aligned with web standards. Const worker, the new worker. Here I need to pass the value of the script tag. I'll be using URL for this. Other than that, I need to pass import.meta dot URL. Now let's see if everything works fine or not. Let me refresh it. Let me write again 
first term will be zero, second term will be one, third term one, fourth term should be two. As you can see, it's working fine. So this is one way of doing it, uh, basically using very bare bones stuff. And now we, what I will be doing is I will be copying this example to show you how you can do is using composables, which are provided by the views library. I've already went and installed them itself, as you can see, view score. Let me copy this example. Let me remove all of this. Or maybe let me keep them. Just comment them for now. There are two composables which Vues provides. Uh, let me import it. Instead of writing this, I can write use web worker. It has imported it and it should be what not type, it should be use web worker. Now it needs a couple of things. Uh, I need to pass a URL, so I'll just do that. Now what it does is like it provides it basically restructures a couple of things to us. Let me do it. With the help of TypeScript magic, we can check it out. One is data, another is post. Another is terminate, which is uh, if you would like to terminate a web worker, another is worker. So if you use worker here for all of this stuff, let me comment uncomment this. And since it's a reactive value, as you can see, worker, we need to get the value out of it. This is the way if you would like to access the native web worker instance, basically, if you're interested. And just to keep Taiske happy, I'll just do this one for now. Now let me refresh it. Oh, no, let me first uh, import it here. Let me come in this. Now come here back and refresh it. Let me again type zero. Now zero doesn't work because I've already given the inputs. Minimum value has to be one. Uh, let me refresh it. I'm not sure why. Let's see if I have done any mistake here. So worker, I've imported it. Worker two is here. Okay, I have done a mistake here. It should be source to make it easy for you so that you don't make the same mistake. You do slash source slash worker dot ts from here. Now let's just save it. Now let us rerun it. Let me type one. It's working fine. Two, three. Four. Yeah, it's working fine. So this is one way of uh, using it. It's somewhat similar to how we have already done in worker one dot view file. But if you'd like, there are some other things we can do. As you can see, we have data and post, so we can use them instead. So data is basically a reactive variable, so we can listen to it, and this is gonna give us a data. And similarly for post, we can just use this post and just call term dot value there. This is quite helpful if you would like to use, uh, have some helpers there, basically which provided. And let me see if everything works fine or not. Let me refresh it again. Let me type one working fine, two working fine, three working fine, four working fine. Okay, as you can see, it's working fine now. So again, let me do one thing. Let me again copy this and let us go to another composable, which is provided by Views library again. Uh, in there, I feel it's somewhat of a uh, mental shift, you can say, with how we have done for worker one and worker two. Let me just paste it. Let me uh, just write a code for that. So let me first remove all of this stuff. Remove this stuff. Now let me clear everything here. It's not going to be required as such. Uh, it has to be something called use web worker fm. So this is going to take the function itself. So suppose in worker.ts we are having this computation done by this function. So let me copy this function. I'm trying to make it bare bones example. So but you can again structure it properly. We have this function. So I'll be calling this function here. So this function is now going to give us something. Let me restructure. This is going to give us a couple of things. You can check out other things more, but I'm just focusing for a fn function. 
and this worker for fn function we need to basically this has the same structure signature if, if you can see for the fibonacci suppose if i make a string as you can see it's saying string and string so if you're getting my point basically this is a uh, kind of abstracting away the fibonacci fun function or you can say a heavy function and we can use this function and wraps are again in a promise as you can see it's a promise so it becomes very easy in that way because anyway whatever we're passing to worker we don't want to our main thread to stop so it's nice if it wraps around promise as such and we can use the uh, like normally how we have the syntax sync away syntax so let me write a fibonacci value uh, let me just copy i think why i've deleted that no this is okay let me copy this this is the thing has to be done so we'll basically call this function worker fn with term dot value and this is gonna basically give us the fibonacci dot value i'm not sure why i'm doing mistake here and there now as you can see it's a promise so we need to basically do await here and since it's await we'll do a sync here so now this is done so let us come to app.view let me comment this line let me add them again now let us see let me refresh click me is working fine 2 is working fine 3 is working fine 4 is working fine as you can see this is also working fine so this these were a couple of ways where you can basically use web workers in view 3 i've already scratched the surface if you'd like me to make more in depth video let me know in the comments as such but i just want to give an introduction to uh, web workers how you can go about using in view 3 i have not focused much on web worker but it's quite simple if you if you just want on the if you just want to compute some basic stuff if you would like to go more into details like termination of your work, web worker etc let me know in the comments as based on that uh, based on the comments i'll see if it makes sense to make more in depth video as such okay i think that was for this video and hope to see another video as well and bye